folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Got a good one for you today. Had a recommendation in my YouTube feed, something I don't know how it made it this far before getting to me. It has 234,000 views uh, as of now, but it's pretty crazy, man. You got to check this out if you haven't seen it. Well, maybe a lot of you have, and I'm late to the party. I guess we'll find out here, but I want to go through it with you here. There's, there's some lessons we can surely learn, you know, and this is the thing about YouTube, though, is, is while there are you know there's definitely good comments in the comments section there but man you got those folks that are they just know it all don't they and uh <laughs> so i want to go through and address a couple of those as well um, because there's some things that no matter what you do good or bad you can second guess it it doesn't mean you did something wrong necessarily uh in his case uh let's take a look now all right folks so this is from north rips nonsense all right so i don't know with a name like that you kind of can tell it might be a, a fun channel or a little a little kind of on the edge, you know. But the video is titled, I Almost Died, and uh, I, I don't think he's exaggerating. So he must have some ninja-like skills to get out of the way from that huge, massive tree that fell right down, smashed his tractor. Um, scrolling through the video, it looks like it's a John Deere 1026R, a TLB, so tractor loader backhoe, and he's just working in the woods, right? Now, I think the most glaring thing that jumps out and, and what a lot of folks were jumping on in the comments section is the fact that uh, where's the other half of his ROPS bar, right? And you got the bottom half, just the posts that kind of come up, but it's a folding ROPS and you can unbolt it, take it off and remove that. And that's what this, uh, this gentleman happened to do. And so immediately you go down to the comments section, there's all sorts of comments about, you know, that's what the ROPS is designed for. And if it was on there, it's designed to save your life and this and that and the other thing, right? But a ROPS stands for a rollover protection system, all right? And there's no rollover that took place here. And it would just be a coincidental event that if he did have his ROPS bar up, that it would have prevented the tree from crashing down and smashing his seat and everything else that happened to the tractor. And now you know me, right? I'm a big advocate for safety. We make videos dedicated to safety on this channel. It's very important. Uh, so many new tractor operators are getting into the space and you think tractors are just set up and ready to go and most of the time they're not. But there are certain safety features like the ROPS bar, the roller protection system that are there to save your life and you have to read your manual to know how to use that ROPS bar correctly because sometimes if it's gonna be up, you gotta have a seat belt on or off. If it's folded down, same thing is gonna change if you have to have your seat belt on and off. So always reference that manual. Same thing with ballast weight, all that other kind of stuff. But the one thing I'm fairly certain it doesn't say in any manual is about making sure you have the ROPS bar up to protect trees from falling on you. <laughs> I don't think it was crash tested to, uh, or maybe impact tested to, to rate it against trees falling on it, or maybe only trees of a certain diameter. So make sure you're, you're avoiding all of those if you're working in that space. Skipping towards the end of the video, we get to hear a little bit of what was happening and, and all he was doing was working in the area around the tree. It looks like it's a dead tree, right? So unstable, dangerous, and kind of a, a risky scenario in general, but not something that you can avoid all the time and not something that you just expect a tree to come crashing down on you. So he was kind of working the ground around the area, not touching uh, the trunk of the tree, didn't think he was touching the roots of the tree. It seemed like he was avoiding that as best he could and it just came crashing down. He mentions like if you cut it down with a chainsaw and it just kind of tipped over. Now I want to give this guy a lot of credit for posting this video because you post something online like that that doesn't go perfectly and make you look like you're amazing, you know, you're just bound to get flack for it. So I, I give them a lot of props for doing that. Now, yeah, of course, you wanna have your ROPS bar installed. I mean, what else are you gonna put your Rhino Hot Canopy on, right? Yeah, get yourself some shade. But the point being is that this wasn't a scenario that, uh, you know, if you rolled over and didn't have that ROPS bar on, that's a dangerous point. You're taking off safety equipment designed to prevent you from tumbling over and over and over. But not the scenario here, so props for him for posting that. It's something you can still learn from, right? I mean, it's even from working around dead timber. You know, we had uh, 14 dead trees taken down up front. Uh, we have some other big dead trees around in other areas too. They're very dangerous. You know, they're gonna crack and split and, and half of it's gonna fall on top of you. You don't know their condition. So it's just a reminder to be careful about that in general. And so I'm glad to see, it looks like it took two guys, but they were able to get that big old massive tree off of there relatively easily. Looked like everything was still usable. Don't really know the full outcome of that or not, but glad to see he was okay. Everything turned out all right. And on that note, let's go over a few safety pointers here. Just as a quick refresher for new folks coming into the uh, the tractor world, or if you want a reminder just because you haven't thought about this stuff in a while, let's go through it real quick. Okay, so real quick rundown. We already talked about the ROPS, right? This is very important. Always look at your manual for that. Now, when you're using a front end loader, you need to have counterweight in the back. That front axle is kind of like the fulcrum, the pivot point. So if you have something really heavy in the front, most tractors out there are gonna wanna pick up in the back. So it's kind of counteracting and teeter-tottering on there. So 
offset that by putting a lot of weight on the backside of your tractor. Liquid ballast. We're sponsored by RimGuard for good reason. They are um, a, a leader in the liquid ballast solution for inside your tractors to add that counterweight. Helps with stability, helps with traction, helps with improved efficiency. Same thing on the three-point hitch. Add suitcase weights, a ballast box, an attachment, whatever else you can back there. We came out with a Versa Bracket bundle. It's a weight bracket with a bunch of weights. You can do some other stuff as well for safety purposes, all right? Because the tractors are not set up out of the gate ready to get to work with the exception of the Summit tractor, which has liquid ballast, the rim guard in their standard. It's the heaviest tractor on the market, so it's gonna be planted to the ground. And so they're trying to do something differently that they see is lacking in the market, for example. And we've certainly done a lot more in-depth videos on safety and, and ways your tractor can kill you and all that kind of stuff just to raise awareness of it too. But carry your loads low, down to the ground. You know, keep it up off the ground just about that much like you see there when you're traveling along to prevent rollers from happening. You know, look for potholes or, or sinkholes or anything else or uneven services. Don't side hill on, on a hill if you're transporting something or, or even if you're just driving along. Go up and down if you can. If you're going downhill, you have four wheel drive in your tractor, engage it because then the braking system will work for the front axle as well on most tractors. I think we all agree that seat safety switches and safety switches in general are very annoying, but they're there, yeah, because somebody sued a, a manufacturer a long time ago because they ran over somebody or something and, and it, you know, it was a bad outcome, right? But they're there for good reason. And so don't go disabling them. That's just asking for trouble. That's kind of like, you know, trying to bring, bring bad luck on yourself or somebody else around you. So it's the last thing you want to happen. And so again, I'm really glad to see that this guy, everything worked out okay for him. You know, yeah, he should have had his Rops bar on there, but that's that's so random for that kind of thing to happen. And, and that's not why your Rops bar is, is technically here. It's here to hold a canopy. But you just gotta do things safe whenever you can. Think ahead, think about those worst case scenarios, especially anything to do with trees is a dangerous application. So. You know, use your noggin there when you can. And don't forget, we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. So if you're looking for something for your front end loader or your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. If you enjoy tractor videos, we'd love to have you tag along completely free. Hit that subscribe button right down below and send us videos like this. Obviously we don't get all these videos, so I'd love to see these and, and uh, see what's going on and you know, give you guys my feedback on it too if I can. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.